Hello, my name is Matt Howlett, and this is the second video in a multi-video series on converting Pascal VOC formatted datasets to COCO datasets. In this video, we'll be creating a test and train annotation text file. So to get started, I'm following a written guide I wrote um, that highlights everything in these videos tutorial series. We're on the third section, and you can find this at this GitHub page HAL 0893 Custom Object Detection Datasets. We're using a card data set found at Edre Electronics. So if you went ahead and downloaded that GitHub repo, you should some have something on your local CPU that looks similar to this. I just threw it on my desktop. You won't have the video guides, uh, don't worry about that. Go ahead and navigate into the datasets folder and the card data set. And when Within the images folder, we'll have two label CSV files. Go ahead and open those up. I already did this for the train label CSV file, but we're going to copy the contents of the first column for each of these files and paste it into an empty text file. So for the train, it looks something like this. It's just all the image names with the extension attached. So I named it train extension.txt. And we'll do the same thing for the test labels. You can go ahead and delete the first row for each of these because we do not need the file name. So go ahead and save that. Um, and we're going to go ahead and delete the extension in each of these by running a Python script. So the cleanup.py. You can run this by opening up an anaconda prompt. And you'll notice that there's some commands within this written guide. Uh, your directory might be different, but if it's not, go ahead and copy and paste. And then we can just run it by cleanup, python cleanup.py. And so what that just did was created a new test label text file without the extension attached. So we want to go ahead and do that for the train set as well. Save the text or save the Python script, rerun it, and we have the new train all cleaned up without extensions. So this is going to conclude the second video. In the next video we'll be moving to part four of the written guide where we run a VOC to Cocoa Python script.